business owners, have you reviewed your internal processes? We're in the first quarter of 2021. And if you haven't done so, it is important for business owners to reflect on how your business has evolved over the last 12 months. Hi, I'm Elsa W. Smith, your Maryland small business attorney, and I'm the owner of the law offices of Elsa W. Smith. If your business model had to pivot as many did in 2020, your internal processes should be updated to reflect your new circumstances and goals. A review and a refresh of your processes can help you identify what you've been doing well and what areas need improvement, as well as refocus and streamline your operations. Now in this video, I'll go over three tips to review your internal processes and the reasons why you should do so. Stay tuned until the end of the video to learn how you can receive more helpful information for your small business. Number one, analyze services and operations. Did you discontinue any services or add new ones in the past year? If so, what have you lost and what have you gained? Evaluate how your business has improved or even declined in terms of profitability and productivity since you've made those changes. Now, if something isn't working out the way you expected, why is that? Determine whether it's something that can be fixed by implementing a new and improved procedure or if it makes sense uh, to let it go entirely. Make sure that your workflows and procedures align with your current services and ensure to ensure that everything is running smoothly. So number two, evaluate your team. Take an inventory of your employees and their respective tasks. Are they delivering on their assignments or do they always seem uh, to be falling behind? Now, if it makes sense, business owners should conduct yearly reviews of employees to determine who's ready to take on more responsibility and who might need something taken off their plate. Talk to your team, especially in uh, remote environments. It's so important to stay connected with your team, but talk to them and try to come up with systems that ensure that everyone is on the same page. And number three, adopt a growth mindset. Business owners are likely to identify multiple inefficiencies within their operations while doing this internal review. Don't get discouraged. The purpose of conducting the review is to not to find out what you're doing wrong necessarily, but it's an opportunity to discover new avenues for success. So go into Q2 2021 and beyond with the mindset that your business can and will grow. Take an honest look at your processes and identify how to make your operations more efficient. And that's going to help you plan for success for the remainder of 2021. Now, if you want to incorporate a new small business or need consulting with an existing one, I invite you to contact me at the law offices of Elsa W. Smith today and schedule a consultation. Now, while you're waiting for the release of my next video, I want you to visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Elsa W. Smith Law for more free small business videos. Elsa W. Smith here, your Maryland small business attorney. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care.